morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself or a loved one off their meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we want to hear from you. We can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have any kind of health challenge, chronic long-term health challenge, your drugs aren't helping you, you want to get a good nutritional protocol, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. And, of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear recommended on the program, you can head over to my blog, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can also check out benfuchsarchives.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Love to have you on my team. We can build a business together, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program together. You can make some money selling longevity products. You can make a lot of money selling longevity products or just a little bit of money selling longevity products. Not really selling. The products sell themselves, just spreading the word about how important and how powerful a good nutritional supplement program can be. If you've benefited from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or the Healthy Star Pack or the Sweeties or any of the wonderful longevity products, share it. Spread the word. Tell other folks. Pay it forward. We are all here together, folks. We can all help each other out, and there's no more fundamental way that we can help each other out than when it comes to our health and our nutrition. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% gel made with retinol as well as vitamin C and our transdermal delivery matrix, and that's it. That's all you're going to find in, in our Retinol 5% gel. All my Truth products are made with minimal ingredients, just active and functional ingredients. No wax, no water, no silicon, no fillers, no preservatives, no fragrance, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want because you shouldn't have to pay for stuff just so I can sell you a product. 90% or more of your typical skincare product is made with ingredients that aren't there for you. They're there so you can be sold a product. That's nasty business, folks. You're not going to find that in any of our truth treatment products. Be an ingredient deck reader. Read ingredient decks. Learn how to read ingredient decks. And you'll be shocked what you find out once you get to, once you get, become familiar with an ingredient deck. One of these days we'll do a show on how to read an ingredient deck. Okay. We're talking, uh, we're talking about uh, ketogenic diet, fats, hormones, Yesterday, we spent a lot of time talking about my favorite superfood, flax seeds, ground up flax seeds. And that's an important point, by the way. Flax seeds have a hard shell on them. You got to crush them up. You got to grind them up in a coffee grinder uh, or a food processor. A coffee grinder works best, I think. If you don't grind them up, they're going to pass right through you and you're not going to get much benefit from them. And you could buy, if you don't have a coffee grinder, you don't feel like dealing with it, you can buy pre crushed flax seed meal. But it's expensive, it's perishable, you're going to pay 10 times as much for it as you would if you used, uh, if you just grind your own, if you grind your own seeds, uh, you can buy unground flax seeds for a couple bucks a pound. The ground up ones cost you about $20 a pound. They're unstable. You got to keep them in the freezer. It's just not, it's not a good deal personally. I don't, I don't think it's a good deal, even though it is a little bit more convenient. 
The one big knock on flax seeds, as super and as important and as wonderful as they are, the one big problem with flax seeds and with all seeds, and it's not really a problem, although we hear about it a lot, is something called phytic acid. Phytic acid, or sometimes you'll hear it referred to as phytates, they're a little bit different, but most people use those terms interchangeably. Phytic acid, phytates, these are, these are getting, generating quite a buzz in the world of nutrition, and there's a lot of confusion around phytic acid and phytates. For the most part, when we hear about phytic acid or, or uh, phytates, we hear about their problematic nature, which is a bit misleading. It, yeah, there's some problems associated with it, but it isn't all bad news. So in the interest of clearing up some of the confusion surrounding phytic acid or phytates, I want to spend some time talking about them for the next day or two in terms of the bad stuff and in terms of the good stuff, in terms of the challenges that you have to deal with with phytic acid and phytates and also with their surprising and very important health benefits. So phytic acid, phytates, we'll, we'll use those terms inter interchangeably. These are substances that are found in grains and seeds. They play several roles in plant chemistry. They're incredibly, incredibly vital and important to the plant. They keep seeds dormant or asleep. Seeds are, it's very important that a seed stays hibernating. A seed is like a hibernating life and nature has come up with all of these chemicals to keep that seed hibernating until it's time to wake up. And that's important for the life of the seed. It doesn't want to wake up when uh, it doesn't want to wake up when there's not a lot of nutrition around. It wants to wake up at just the right time. So it has to stay dormant. It has to stay asleep. And nature has a lot of chemicals that it uses to keep that seed asleep. These chemicals, in general, are what we call anti-nutrients. They suppress life. They keep life asleep. And while it's important for seed, it's not good for us. Gluten is one of those compounds, by the way. There's a lot of these compounds that are designed to keep a seed protected. Gluten isn't quite exactly like that. Gluten is more like a, a protective molecule to keep animals from eating the plants or eating the seeds. But nonetheless, there are chemicals inside of seeds that keep the seed or keep the plant alive and keep the seed and keep the plant healthy. And they're not necessarily good for us. Phytic acid is one of these substances that keeps seeds asleep. Phytic acid is also a source of potential energy for seeds. It's also a raw material for the seed to make sugars or for the plant to make sugars after the seed wakes up. And phytic acid also is an antioxidant. Phytic acid protects the seed and protects the plant from, from the ravages of oxygen and the dangers to the plant of light, photooxidation. And Phytic acid also can help protect the seed and the plant against something called aflatoxin. Perhaps you've heard of that. Aflatoxin is a, is a poison that's made by a particular mold that feeds on plants. Specifically, it feeds on uh, nuts and sea, uh, legumes, beans, and grains and seeds, etc. And phytic acid actually is protective against aflatoxin. But the most well-known function, the, the most recognized function of uh, phytic acid is as a storage form for one of the most all-time incredibly important minerals for life, and that's called phosphorus. Phosphorus is a, can be thought of as an ignition element for the life force. It ignites life. Phosphorus is an ex it has an explosive property. Ph phosphorus is given the name the light bearer. Phospho means light. And phosphorus, phosphorus uh, has a, a way of, uh, em uh, of emitting light. It's super, it doesn't really conduct electrical energy, but somehow it carries an electrical force and it's incredibly important for the plant. And phytic acid is a storage form. It's a locker, it's a pantry for phosphorus. If you want to see a, a beautiful, just a spectacularly gorgeous chemical structure, if I could geek out on you here for a little bit on chemistry, you know, chemistry we talk about as, as tinker toys. That's the way I like to think of chemistry. That's a simple way for non-chemists to think about chemistry. It's just like tinker toys. Just putting little, little sticks and dowels and circles and little pieces together. Well, phytic acid is one of the most gorgeous tinker toy structures you will ever see. It's like a mandala. It's like one of those, one of those Hindu pictures, circular pictures. They call them mandalas. It's just this amazingly beautiful structure. All right, we got to take a break. We'll come back when we come. Uh, we'll come back on the bright side right after this. Don't go away. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Got a couple lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, you've got questions about formulations or ingredients or skin health, skin health issues, we want to hear from you. We can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Try to call in early and we'll get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, or if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, love to have you on our team. We can help you build your business. You can make some money selling longevity products or just get your products at the wholesale price. Please call the phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to our website's criticalhealthnews.com brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com and of course if you want to purchase any of our truth skin health products go over to truthtreatments.com and if you want to uh, check out my blog I have a blog at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com also I'm um, doing a blog on or posts anyway on my Facebook page the truth with Ben the truth with Ben and if you've tried to friend me on my other Facebook page my personal Facebook page that one's pretty much full but if you go over to the truth with Ben and you like that page, you'll get our posts regularly. And and then uh, when we're doing specials on our truth treatment products, you'll hear about those as well. That's the truth with Ben on Facebook. Okay. So let's see here. We're talking about, uh, talking about phosphorus. Or no, actually, uh, yeah, talking about phytic acid uh, as a source, as a storage form for phosphorus. Phosphorus is just crazy important. The, the light bearer, phosphorus, it's um, part of the CHNOPS system, C-H-N-O-P-S. The whole body is made up of six minerals. Well, 99% of the body is made up of just six minerals. Uh, scientists call it the CHNOPS minerals, C-H-N-O-P-S. 99, actually like 99.9 or 99.5 or some ridiculously high concentration of our bodies are made up of only six elements, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, Phosphorus and sulfur, the chenops minerals, they call them. And, of course, the P is for phosphorus. It's one of the major elements that make up the human body. And it's not necessarily electrical itself, although it has electrical properties. It doesn't really conduct electricity very well itself. But when it's combined with other things, it becomes super electrical, especially when it's combined with sulfur and oxygen. In fact, when it's combined with sulfur... Well, it's combined with sulfur and fats. It forms something called phospholipids. You probably heard that term, phospholipids. They play a major, major, major role in the health of uh, the health of the whole body, but especially the electrical systems of the body, especially the brain and the nervous system. Phospholipids, really, really crazy important. Phospholipids are a blend of lipids, fats and phospho, phosphorus, and there's also sulfur in there as well. So phosphorus, sulfur, and lipids form these phospholipids that are unbelievably important for mental health, for brain health, for Parkinson's disease, for Bell's palsy, for Alzheimer's disease, for all kinds of brain health issues, just for, just for having better memory, just for sleeping better. Yesterday, there was a really interesting article, by the way, that linked rosacea to Parkinson's disease. Isn't that interesting how rosacea, which is a skin disease, is linked to Parkinson's disease? Now, what do you think those two systems could have in common? Why would the skin, a skin disease, be related to a brain disease? Well, because all diseases have the same causes, the digestive system. And phospholipids play a major role in digestive health as well as in brain health as well as in skin health. So if you're thinking to yourself, wow, man. I sure would like to get some of those phospholipids, make sure my brain stays healthy, make sure I don't get Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or Bell's palsy, or if I have those health challenges, God forbid, that they improve. If you're thinking you want to get some phospholipids, good thinking. You're on the right track. Eat your phospholipids. Eat your phosphorus and sulfur. Eating phospholipids is one of the best health decisions you will ever make, especially if you're dealing with brain health issues, especially if you're dealing with movement disorders or Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, or if you just want to keep your brain healthy, or if you just want to keep your nervous system healthy. And nature's best source of phospholipids, guess what? Eggs. Eat your eggs. And they're in the yolk, the part your doctor will tell you to throw out. Doctors... At least some doctors have stopped telling people not to eat eggs or not to eat the yolks, but you still hear that boneheaded advice, and it is boneheaded advice. Eat your eggs. They're loaded with phospholipids, especially the yolks. 
You're not going to get phospholipids in the white. You'll get the phospholipids in the yolk, among other things. The phospholipid, by the way, is called lecithin. This is one of the, ma- this is one of the major benefits of lecithin. Lecithin has got all kinds of health benefits. It's a source. Of, it's part of the bile system. Helps your body process fats. Very important for digestive health. But it's also a source of phospholipids for the brain. Interestingly, the energetics of phosphorus make it dangerous. Make it toxic. Make it explosive. Phosphorus burns super hot. Phosphorus is so dangerous and so explosive and so super hot that it's actually banned by the Geneva Convention. The military loves phosphorus because of its explosive nature, but it's been banned because it's so darn explosive and so darn toxic. If you took all the phosphorus out of your body, there's like probably two or three pounds of phosphorus in an average person's body. body. If you took all that phosphorus out, it would be enough to kill everyone in a small city. Yet somehow... The biological force has an incredible way of harnessing the power of phosphorus and utilizing it to make it such a fundamental component of the life force. Every cell in the body contains this little chunk of phosphorus right smack dab in the nucleus as part of our DNA. Yes, phosphorus is a key component of our DNA. The ability, there's kind of a, a, a mysterious ability that phosphorus has to create light. And this idea that phosphorus creates light and the fact that it's part of our DNA is related to something called biophotons. Yes, biophotons. That is so amazing to me. Our biology emits light, our DNA emits light. If you looked at it with just the right kind of detection mechanism, you'd see little bursts of light flicking on and off as our genes are changing. We, are, we have light bodies through this, through this concept called biophotons. I didn't really know about this until about 50 or 60 years ago. Uh, a guy named, a, real, a scientist with the name Fritz Popp, which is a cool name for a guy who came up with the concept, or was the first man to talk about biophotons. Fritz Popp talks about how the body emits light. And how does it emit light? Through phosphorus. And because phosphorus is in the DNA, the DNA itself emits light. Phosphorus is everywhere in the body. It's in the fluids of the body. It's in the DNA. It's in all the cells of the body. It's in our skeleton. It's in our muscle. It's in our nervous system. It's in our brain. The thing about phosphorus is it's so abundant in the standard American diet that sometimes we underestimate how stupendously important this stuff is. In the body, phosphorus is combined with various other elements, iron and calcium. You'll hear hear terms like calcium phosphate and iron phosphate and magnesium phosphate and sodium phosphate. Phosphates are are a stabilized form of phosphorus and it combines with various minerals. When I say phosphorus is important stuff, I am not exaggerating in the least. Phosphates and phosphorus are among the most important compounds in all of life. Just ask any farmer about how important phosphates are and phosphorus is when it comes to farming and when it comes to their plants. The discovery of phosphate fertilizers actually is a really, really important advance in terms of of agriculture. Phosphate fertilizers, well, farmers have been using phosphate fertilizers by dissolving bone in in, uh, in their plants or in their crops for millennia. Bone is, of course, a wonderful source of phosphorus. But phosphate phosphate fertilizers were first developed in the mid-19th century. And really, in a way, these phosphate fertilizers revolutionized agriculture and really revolutionized the entire planet. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you can do it right off the websites as well. In, uh, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or benfuchsarchives.com. You can also purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. If you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, or accelerated aging of the skin, or you don't want to be dealing with accelerated aging of the skin, you need retinol. And not just any retinol, you need high concentrations of retinol. And if you use high concentrations of retinol in an ordinary skin care, skin health product, if you find it, you're probably going to be dealing with irritation and inflammation and redness, and it's going to keep you from really exploiting or leveraging the power of retinol. That's why I came up with my Truth Retinol 5% Gel. It is, for most folks, non-irritating. For most folks, you're not going to have a problem. And you can, use a, uh, you can get a bunch of retinol. 
And the neat thing about my Truth Skin Health products is they last a long time, months. Retinol, or retinol uh, 5% gel will last you four months, five months, maybe even six months. Truth Serum will last you two to three months. Truth Balm will last you two to three months. That's because you're not paying for baloney. You're not paying for water. You're not paying for wax. You're not paying for emulsifiers. You're not paying for fillers. You're only paying for active and functional ingredients. And that means you use tiny little bits. Ask anyone who's used these products. Tiny little bits go a long way. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got a couple lines open for you. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get you in just a minute. I found a neat article here from the journal Neurology. This was published last week. Beyond Alzheimer's, check this out. Study reveals how a mixture of brain elements drives dementia. Oh my goodness. These guys must have been listening to the bright side. We've been talking about this for years, maybe decades. Apparently, according to these folks uh, from the University of Hawaii who published the study in, in the journal Neurology, a new analysis provides compelling evidence that dementia results from a blend of brain ailments rather than a single condition. Oh my goodness, where have you heard this before? You see Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease are, and all dementias and all brain diseases, are, if they're chronic and they're long-term and they're progressive, like any other chronic long-term progressive diseases are signs that the tissue is rotting and dying. That's all folks. I don't mean to be gross. I don't mean to be graphic. I'm just trying to keep it real. It's not fibro -tang uh, neurofibrillary tangles, amyloid plaques, and tau protein, and all these other silly, silly, borderline idiotic ideas that you hear from the medical model. Yes, there's fibers there. Of course there is. But this is the way the brain degenerates. It's not the fault of the fibers. It's the fault of the degeneration. According to this study, there's all kinds of ways that the body, the brain falls apart, and then you get dementia. It's not a special disease. It's just the same stuff, different day, if you know what I'm talking about. It's the same way the body breaks down in general. It's arthritis of the brain. It's ulcerative colitis of the brain. It's name the disease of the brain. So how do you deal with Alzheimer's disease? Well, there's so many ways to deal with it. Number one, you work on your digestive health. Make sure you're taking your probiotics. Make sure you're staying away from problem foods. Make sure you're eating less calories. Make sure you're going ketogenic diet. Number two, stabilize your blood sugar. Use your sweeties. Don't eat junk food or reduce your intake of junk food. Eat more protein. Use glutamine to wean yourself off of sugar. Make sure you're using minerals like magnesium in addition to selenium and I'm sorry, in addition to chromium and vanadium, but also selenium. These all help your body process sugar. Relax the body. Lower cortisol. Take hot tubs. Get massages. Practice deep breathing. Make sure you're uh, focusing on the exhale. You always want to exhale more than you inhale. It's better to give than it is to receive. Exhalation, slow exhalation allows carbon dioxide to build up slowly, and carbon dioxide is super duper important stuff. A lot of people think carbon dioxide is a waste product. It's not. It's a super duper important component of respiration along with oxygen. In fact, carbon dioxide helps your body hold on to or utilize oxygen more effectively. So breathe out slowly and breathe in less than you breathe out. These are all the simple, basic, easy to, easy to employ strategies that we can all use to improve our prognosis if we're dealing with Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or acne or any other, or rosacea or any other health challenge. These are not doctor issues. When we figure this out, folks, there's going to be a lot of unemployed doctors, and that is not a bad thing, except for doctors. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Let's go to New Jersey and welcome Astara. Love that name, Astara. How you doing? Thank you. Hello. Can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Astara. Is that Great. your real name? Did you give yourself that name or some no, wise... No, my dad and my mom gave okay. me this wonderful name. That is a beautiful name. Beautiful Thank name. You. I love it. So what's going on, Astara? Okay. Well, I'm a first-time caller and... Okay. Uh, How, long you been How long have you been listening? How long have you been listening? How long have you been listening to the program? Well, uh, this is actually my first time. My dad um, kind of turned me on to Alex Jones and Joyce, so I, I listen to them a lot, but this is the first time I'm able to actually speak with, with you and, and catch your show. Oh, but good. But he, he urged me to call, so I'm okay. doing so. Okay. What's okay. going on? So 
So I have this uh, skin condition called molluscum contagiosum. Oh, I love that Latin name. That's yeah, great. And when Mol I tell you I have tried everything. No, you haven't. Never say that on the bright side. You could not have possibly have tried everything. <laughs> well, I've tried oregano, colloidal silver. That's not everything. You know, I'm teasing you, Star, but let me, let me make a bigger point here. When we say that, or when we think that, that mm -hmm. shuts off our options. That I know, closes, you're you know right. what I'm saying? So don't yeah. even think that. And I hear it all the time. And I'm not picking on you. I'm, I'm saying this to everybody out there because people say it all the time. I've tried everything. What that does is it closes your options. And you never, ever want to close your options. You want possibility. The key okay. to an effective life is to expand possibilities, not to contract them. Yeah. And when you say I've tried everything, you're, you're shrinking down your possibilities. So, so let me tell you about uh, molluscum contagiosum, uh, for the listeners anyway. They'll tell you it's a viral infection. Have you, is that what they told you, that it was a virus? Uh, Have you heard well, that? I've done a lot of research, so and probably, I've, I've, I've learned that, yes. Okay. So it's basically bumps on the skin. Basically, yeah. um, like thick, the annoying bumps. Yes. That thick, pop up yes everywhere thick, and anywhere. Right. Here's the deal. It's caught, they'll tell you it's caused by a virus, but here's the deal. The virus is everywhere, and there's bacteria everywhere, but not everybody gets molluscum contagiosum. So clearly, it can't just be the virus. It can't just be the bacteria when they tell you it's a bacteria. You have to have had some other health challenge. Nobody just has these kinds of skin conditions. I did. Okay? I had HPV 1618. Okay. So, so now we're term. getting warmer here. Now we're getting warmer. Okay. I'm yep. thinking more fundamental, though, uh, and that is digestive or blood sugar issues. How old are you, sweetheart? 43. Okay. Uh, history of digestive issues have to have. I'm, not, I'm only asking you rhetorically because I know you have to have had them. Uh, I had I had actually hemorrhoidal issues. Okay, we're we're getting warmer now. Okay, the hemorrhoid hemorrhoidal issues is a sign that blood is not circulating correctly in the lower part of your body. Right. And that usually means a liver issue, and the liver is a digestive organ. So we're this is the reason I'm not picking on you here. The, I'm, I want you to start to think strategically or critically. Okay. If you think it's a skin problem, there's nothing you could do. You go to dermatologist, there's nothing you could do. You car, I, cut the bumps and, out. And, there's nothing you could do. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Dermatologists yeah. shouldn't dare and, to take your... Let me just finish this real quick. How dare a dermatologist take somebody's money for doing nothing? Did he do nothing for you? Did he tell you this is free, Astara? We're not going to take your money because we didn't do anything? No, of course not. But I'm going to help you. So hang on because we got to take a break and we'll finish up when we come back. So don't go away, Astara, okay? I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll take a break and come back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Hey, Astara, are you there? I'm gonna, Astara. Astara? Astara? Yes, yes. Hello? Hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to give you some help. I'm going to go real fast because i got a bunch of calls I want to get to, all right? Okay. So, a, a molluscum contagiosum, which just means hard bumps on the skin that are contagious. It's not really, a, it doesn't tell you anything. Uh, it, is a, a, a viral and a bacterial, it's, a, it's an immune system condition. Your immune system is suppressed, okay? And then you said you had a history of HPV and you had hemorrhoids. All this tells me that there's something percolating along in the body and it's not a skin condition. What you're looking on the skin is the end result. So when your immune system is suppressed and you're susceptible to viruses and other infections, you want to start to focus on where your immune system is mostly located. Do you know where that is? You're, you're a new listener, so I'm just going to ask you here, because most of our listeners know, but you're a new listener. So where do you think your immune system is mostly located? In, um, in the gut. You got it, baby. In the gut. Exactly. Whenever you have an immune system problem, you have to focus on the gut. Now, if you flare up, that's great, because when you flare up, you can backtrack to what you did the last few hours or the last six or seven hours, and that'll give you major information. If you don't flare up, if you, your, your condition is just steady state, it's a little trickier, but either way, you want to do a food diary where you write down every morsel you put in your mouth, and then how you feel from a digestive system perspective, number one, that means heartburn, bloating, gas, which you have to have. You may not notice it because it might have happened your whole life and the brain has a way of tuning things down, but you have to have these kinds of issues. Heartburn, gas, bloating, loose stools, constipation, discomfort, cramping, something like that. Are you with me, Astara? I 
Yes, yes. Okay, you want to link those to the foods you're eating and then start to eliminate foods. If you want a real clear indicator, take a couple days off from food. Do a Swero V cleanse. If you're using the Longevity products, call 866-735-2470 or go to criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com and order the Swero V. Do a half a bottle of it every hour for maybe a day or two. So you do about six bottles a day in a 12-hour day for a day or two and don't eat anything else. Just fast for a couple of days just with your Swero V. It's called a Swero V cleanse. Then start eating again. And what you'll notice is foods that you love and that you're eating a lot of, all of a sudden you'll notice, oh my God, I get cramps after I eat that. Or I get loose stools after I eat that. Or I get bloated after I eat that. Those are foods that need to be eliminated. That's step number one. That alone will make a huge difference. If you do nothing else, that alone will make a huge difference. The days off that you're taking off from food, your skin will start to heal itself. Now, once you start eating, you're going to want to start to use digestive support supplements. The most important are probiotics. If you're not on one, get on one. And don't waste a moment. Get on it right away. I like the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Do six cap, uh, do nine capsules a day, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, and three at night. Make sure you're eating fermented foods, and make sure you're using uh, uh, apple cider vinegar after all your meals and digestive enzymes after all your meals. If you can do veggie juices with fiber, that will help also. The fiber is great for your digestive tract. If you like, you can do flax seeds. We've been talking, you missed this, but we've been talking the last few days about grinding up flax seeds and using flax seeds to help clean, ground up flax seeds to help clean out the intestine. Also want to make sure you're on an all-around good nutritional supplement program like the Healthy Start Pack. Again, you'll find that off criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com or you can call the phone team. Make sure you're sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Powder all day long. Okay, sip on it. Awesome. Sip yep. on it all day long. Start taking your ultimate EFAs. Again, nine capsules a day, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, and What's three. N- they're okay. called ult- ultimate EFAs. Three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. And then you also want to make sure that you're using, I think I said this already, but I'll say it again, uh, digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes with a little bit of apple cider vinegar after all your, me- all your meals. You are going to find that once you stabilize the gut, once you eliminate problem foods and start to use these nutritional supplements, that your skin's going to start to clear. Now, there's a lot of other things you need to do. You need vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. You need zinc, picolinate, 50 milligrams a day. You should be on selenium as well. But I can't tell you absolutely everything. There's too much. But please understand that once you get your gut under control and get on a supplement program, your condition will improve. It can go down. It, it can completely disappear as well because your immune system is designed to handle viruses and bacteria. It's not a medical issue. And no doctor should ever charge you or bill you or, or, or in any way medicalize you to take care of what is in the body's nature to take care of itself. But you got to make sure that you're not putting the bad stuff in and that you're supporting the digestive system as well as using these other supplements. And if you'd like, email me at ben at ksco.com and put your phone number and I'll work with you personally. Okay, Astara? So much. Thank you. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. All right. Let's go to Andre in California. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Good, Ben. How are you today? Good to talk to you, Andre. How can we help? Uh, my wife, has, uh, she she just uh, got diagnosed with uh, bone spur and arthritis in her right knee. And I'm wondering what you can suggest for her. She's really in a lot of pain. I'm sure. That's and, miserable. Uh, that's oh, awful. Yeah, that's afford. awful. Yeah. Bone spurs, she has it in her knee. And where else did you say? Oh, no, it's in her knee. Just in her knee. She also has arthritis in her knee. Also. Okay. How old is your wife? Uh, she's going to be 15 next month. Okay, that's a sign that the, her, she's not processing calcium correctly. And again, that follows digestive health issues. The blood, when we don't process calcium correctly, calcium can build up in the blood. And uh, when the calcium builds up in the blood, the body throws it out and deposits it in different areas in the joints. And it's all associated with, uh, with the arthritis, et cetera. So number one, like we were talking with a star, you got to focus on digestive system health. Chances are pretty good she knows that she's got some digestive health issues. If she doesn't, she's got to find them. At the age of 56, though, she should know. She'll probably know those are that's going to be uh, elimination diet where you eliminate foods that cause digestive distress the digestive system is where calcium is metabolized and, and assimilated so you got to work on intestinal health that's the probiotics the biolumin nightly essence have her do nine of those every day make sure she's using her bile uh, uh, her ultimate enzymes with the bile salts because bile is also very important for helping the body process calcium in fact if it was me i'd be taking extra bile salts and you have to buy those at a health food store so ultimate enzymes after meal 
and then some a little bit extra bile salts with it and it wouldn't help her it wouldn't hurt her to throw in some uh, some lecithin which also supports or helps the bile work maybe a quarter teaspoon of lecithin powder or less than granules in water with her meals a little bit of apple cider vinegar with her meals will help too now one of the reasons that calcium starts to build up in the blood is because the blood gets thick and sludgy and in addition to digestive issues leaky gut syndrome in particular that can have to do with blood sugar problems and there's a major link between dysglycemia or messed up blood sugar dysglycemia and uh, improper calcium metabolism so make sure she's focusing on her blood sugar as well staying off of sp foods that spike her blood sugar and then using things like the sweeties and the fucoid z and uh, maybe glutamine powder all all of which can help her wean off help her wean off of sugar and will help her body process sugar and of course the healthy start pack is also important for that particularly the amino the um, b vitamins niacin and thiamine in fact she may want to take a little bit extra niacin and thiamine maybe some time to release niacin and some uh, thiamine as well then there's also good old vitamin K, super duper important for calcium metabolism. It's like a magnet that sucks calcium out of the blood that acts to attract calcium. She can also do chelation, and you can use nutrients to chelate. Uh, vitamin C is a chelator, something called NAC, NAC will help, will acts as a chelator. By chelation, I'm talking about magnetically attracting calcium out of the blood. Uh, selenium also has some chelation properties, so make sure she's using her ultimate selenium. And then also make sure she's getting enough vitamin D. Uh, in addition to the digestive strategies, those are very important for vitamin D metabolism. A little bit of sunshine every day. You're out in California, so make sure she's laying out and, and getting, getting some vitamin D. Also, fish oil also is a good source of vitamin D. And you'll get that in the ultimate essential fatty acid capsules. If she does all of that, the bone spurs that she has now will start to resolve. But more, even more importantly, she's going to stabilize calcium metabolism. And if she's got bone spurs, rest assured she's got calcification of other soft tissues in her body, including her heart and her blood vessels. And that's really where it becomes very, very important that she takes care of this. I'm sorry, Andre, you're going to say something? Yeah, it, glucogel also would help her. Glucogel will help. Glucogel will help for rebuilding, but it's not as important as all these other things. Because right now, her important, the most important thing is she gets her calcium metabolism under control. Uh, one last thing I should tell you, magnesium helps balance out calcium. So make sure she's on a good magnesium supplement like the Osteo, the uh, Beyond Osteo FX. And I would actually be throwing in a, a little bit extra magnesium, like magnesium glycinate, maybe 1,000 milligrams a day of magnesium glycinate or a, or a chelated form of magnesium. It's a ton of information for you there. But Andre, my friend, as, as miserable as the bone spurs are, it's really a long term issue that that's really where you got to you got to take care of the calcification issues for the soft tissues the kidneys and the heart and the brain and that's where all of these strategies are going to come in handy all right i got to move andre i apologize thank you thank you so much for calling hey uh carl the truth raider that's the music buddy can you got something for us real quick Yes, I'm going to have to uh, finish up what, I'm, what my description of my condition is tomorrow. I'm, okay. I'm on the road to recovery. I love so. it. You sound great, uh, Carl, the truth writer. Well, call back tomorrow because I'm going I'm to wind down the show today, okay? I'll have to do that. Thank Thanks, you. Carl. All right, buddy. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, friends. Please check out my skin health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And if you're interested in learning more about the longevity products, call 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.